Hello, my name is Keith Wallace. I'm a school counselor at Trans Central High School, and today I will be reading Giant Hiccups. Written by Jackie Farley, illustrated by Pamela Venus, and published by Trey Tamir Books. Once at the top of a huge hill stood a small town where many people lived and worked. At the bottom of the hill loomed an enormous dwelling where a giant lived. The giant was called Aisha. She never bothered the townspeople, but spent her days quietly. She made cups, plates, and pots and pans. She made rainbow lollipops and pineapple jam. Suddenly, one day, the ground shook and drew, and dreadful noise fell, filled the air. It sounded like a hundred dinosaurs falling out of bed. Hiccup! The small town on the hill trembled and it shuddered and shook. In the houses, everything rattled. One young man hobbled crazily along the road on his bicycle. Hiccup! The children in the school held on, held on to their tables to stop them falling over. Books flew. Hiccup! The statue of the mayor fell off its pedestal. People hurried from everywhere and met in the square. What can it be? They called. What's happening? They cried. It's an earthquake, said some. We have to get off the hill, said the parents taking charge. They all joined hands and began to walk down the hill. Hiccup! They all slid, held over head, head over heels, right down to the bottom of the hill. Whee! shouted the children as, as it's a slide. Suddenly, there was another ground shaking. Hiccup! And the giant came out of her house. Hey, you up there, the mail carrier cried. You're creating a, a terrible disturbance. Stop it at once. Our homes are on the hill, shouted one of the townspeople. Your hiccuping is destroying our town. Hiccup, said the giant apologetically. Perhaps we should give her a drink of water, suggested one old lady. Buck, 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 buck. Aisha drank it all up. Hiccup! Let's give her a fright. The baker whispered to the mail carrier. The mail carrier whispered to the lady next to him. The children whispered to each other. They passed it on until everyone knew what to do. Boo! They all shouted in their loud voices. Hiccup! said the giant. Mrs. Wiggins, the school teacher, made a suggestion. Try holding your breath for as long as you can. She called up to the giant. Aisha held her breath and held and held and held for as long as she held to her breath out with a gigantic whoosh. I wish I brought my kite, laughed to me. But hiccup, said the giant sadly. No one knew what to do next. Then some children from Mrs. Wiggins' class put up their hands. Maybe she's hungry, said Kyra Louise. I sometimes get hiccups when I'm hungry, agreed Ben. Hiccup, said the giant. We might as well try your idea, said Mrs. Wiggins. All the townspeople scrambled off in a different directions. Some collected wood from the forest to make a huge fire. Others went to the fields and collected vegetables. The fire brigade poured water into Alicia's pot. Aisha put in her favorite spices and tried very hard not to hiccup too loudly. Delicious, she said, thank you. Then everyone noticed something, the hiccup had stopped. Suddenly there was a tiny Hiccup. Oh, Ben, 
Are you ready for lunch? Said Aisha. Making giant vegetable stew, stew is a hungry business. I'm sure there's enough to share. And then there was. Thank you all for listening to A Giant Hiccup. I hope you enjoyed the story.